just so we're all on the same page here and I'm clear that this plug-in drummer isn't actually being talked about as much as people are saying it is. But Behemoth is going to talk about it. Like, they're going to have it on Behemoth. So I'll do I'll do it properly because obviously they're not a new source uh, and I, I do it right. So I'll go over it and uh, we'll discuss it and then we'll move on, okay? This is the video we're going to look at. All right, I'll unmute it and we'll have a talk in a sec. And... Um, this guy's blocking me on Twitter, so I can't see his tweets. But, um, uh, shit, I can't show you the tweets. I don't have them. So if someone can screenshot them for me, that'd be great. But basically, he's he's complaining. This guy is called uh, Heeb. All right? He's got his grandmaster helmet. He's such a good player. Basically, um, he has a problem with this plugin called uh, Watchdog. And we'll just watch his video and let him explain it because he does it better than I'm going to because I don't use this plugin. So. Um, pay attention and we'll discuss it. But it to brought like to give you guys a quick TLDR, in my opinion, this is basically no monkey 2.0. All right, but I'll let him explain the video and then we will go from there. All right, good morning, Twitter or YouTube. This you guys is uh, Heeb Heeb reporting in with a quick report on why a plugin needs to be taken off Runelight. The plugin in question we're going to be talking about today is Watchdog. Now, why does Watchdog need to be taken off Runelight? Very simple. Watchdog allows for you to scan for game mechanics that are ongoing in the in the game, and then sets a timer, and then can give you pushy notification in different ways. For example, um, the way I found out about this plugin literally an hour ago is my friend was telling me that he. Sorry, I'm gonna pause that quickly. Um, Beans, can I get you to find me the link to um, the rules of third-party plugins for RuneScape, just so I have it as a reference rather than like trying to remember uh, off my memory so I can give a better explanation. Um, that would be awesome, thank you. I've got a few tweets that have been put up here before we continue the video too. So this is the tweet here from Heeb. Uh, why do we ban uh, clients again? This is on RuneLight, explanation in comments. TLDW Watchdog plugin lets you time any game mechanic in chat box and set a timer for an overhead message, allowing you to time mechanics, okay? That's part one, and part two is here, which is, um, I'm thinking that nearly any game mechanic present on RuneScape can be circumvented or dumbed down by implementing this plugin with certain configurations. Think timing teleports at Ulm, tick eating green ball at Verzik with locator orb, the list goes on. Apparently some people genuinely think I'm asking for clients to be unbanned, which is not what he's doing. Um, I believe this shouldn't be on RuneLite or any other approved client for that matter. Fair enough, okay? There you go, third-party client guidelines, and we'll have these up for reference later, so that way I know that we are looking at the same thing, okay? This is uh, important to refer yourself to when talking about plugins like this, because while a plugin might not look like it's good for the game, and I don't use plugins like this, because I, I'd like, I mean, it's, it's, I think it's unenjoyable and it's just fucking annoying to look at, but at the end of the day, if the rules state it, then the rules allow it, right? So we'll uh, keep watching the video and we'll move on. My favorite comment on that vid, you keep yapping about integrity of the game, but your client looks like a Blo Bloomberg terminal. I mean, yeah, he's got true tile. He's got his maze marked. He's got two different fucking tick timers on the screen. People that want to cry about integrity have all sorts of shit like that on their screen all the time. Like, you know, I take, uh, I honestly take pride in doing most content with almost no tile markers on my screen because I think it's just, it looks nicer and just proves I'm a better fucking player. So why I only ever use vanilla client? Nah, fuck that. Use Rune Light. Grow up. Use Rune Light. has trouble clicking on Soul Herod. It's uh, armor takeoff attacks. Okay, we'll, we'll back up a sec just so we know what he's talking about. Sorry, because that was a bit of a transition. But yeah, Rune Light just runs better as a client. You should be using that. Example, um, the way I found out about this plugin literally an hour ago is my friend was telling me that he has trouble clicking on Soul Herod. It's... Uh, armor takeoff attacks or recognizing that they are happening and has this plugin that scans for them and uh, tells you which armor piece to take off. That looks roughly like this. So in this case, you can see my friends here that Soul Herod, ignore the fact that he's dying, he's terrible at the game. We're not going to be focusing on that. That it's, nothing is more cringe than just the don't worry about him dying, he's terrible at the game. Alright, dude. 
Just typical Zuckhelm cancer. <laughs> Soul Herod, it says, I'll twist your hands off. And you can see over his head, it says gloves. That's the plugin doing that. Mm. That's not my friend typing us. As you can see, there's nothing in the chat box. The, the plugin itself pushes this notification over his head. I was thinking to myself, that itself already sounds pretty broken, but I guess it's reasonable if Soul Herod is attacking you. Sometimes you can't see the text above his head, as you can see in this case. <clears throat> so he sent me this link of how to set up the plugin. So you simply download the plugin, keep everything at default, and then import these settings. And something that caught my eye here immediately is the fact that when you configure what message you want to be displayed, you can just configure the display time. So I was already... Yeah, that what's gave that, me what's the that ick. fucking clicking? Can you guys hear that when he's talking? What the fuck is that? Sorry, I know, but like... It's fucking annoying. Because if you know this game well, then you know that timing and notification can be extremely dangerous to the integrity of the video game. So naturally, I had to download the Bad plugin and for myself yeah. what it can do. Fuck me. And and when I downloaded the plugin, all right. I imported all of these. This is and what then I realized most. that you can easily alter them. And I tr started to experiment. So naturally, first thing I did was I went into entry mode top, which is where we are at right now, mm -hmm. in case you're wondering. Yep. And I went to Sodatsec. And whenever Sodatsec, um shoots a ball at you, the big ball that you need to tick eat, yeah. uh, in case you're low HP, he, it will say in the chat box, a large ball of energy is shot your way. So we've just established that something needs to be written in the chat in order for this plugin to work correctly. Had to specify entry mode, but he's not getting there in uh, normal mode, is he? Um, well, at least I hope so. <laughs> Otherwise, it would be way more broken. But anyway, this it says in the chat, a large ball of energy shot your way. So naturally, I made a salt ball command. Okay, this is where it's I important, put, all right? This is, this, is, put in as the, this is the important stuff. So this is where you define whether or not I'll move this. I'll move the chat out of the way so you guys can see it better. This is where you kind of try to define whether or not it's actually against the game rules, right? Because um, setting timers to manually, so setting timers to trigger when certain things in the game happen is the gray area that you've got to work out, right? Because if you've just got it set that um, the thing, think of the Hunlif timer that everyone used to use with Perp's voice, where it was like two, one, cringe. Two, one, and then you change your prayer, right? That was allowed, even though it was an indicator, because you manually hit go, you manually set that time, and then it's the it's the exact same as having like a fucking clock on another browser, right? But the Leviathan problem that No Monkey was having was that you weren't even setting anything manually. The pl the plugin was just reading the game and just telling you what to do based off of the sounds in the game, right? It was just triggering it without you presetting any timer. Because you can manually adjust timers here, technically that would be okay. The only problem I think where, where it's questionable is when it's triggering based off of text in the chat, right? Because you're manually entering a large ball of energy is shot your way. That's what's been written up here. And that's what's causing the timer to start. And then the clock starts. And you've manually set that clock timer. So that's a manual timer. It's not an automatic timer because you can change it to 50 seconds. You can change it to three. And that's what makes it manual. And that's what allows it to be in line with the plugins here, which I believe is indicates the time where boss mechanics may start or end. Is this what this is still? These are unacceptable. So it indicates time where boss mechanic may start or end. Let me read this. Hold on. Um, Indicates where projectiles will land. You don't have that. So the plugin isn't indicating the time, right? Because you're you're entering that yourself, okay? Because I believe that the time that it takes for the ball to reach you is the same once it fires from soap until it reaches you. It's the same every time. You enter 9 milliseconds, 9,000 milliseconds, sorry, and that will guarantee it. If you change it to 10, it's going to come up late. Change it to 8, it's going to come up early. So the plugin's not doing it automatically, therefore it doesn't count as this because it's not indicating it. It's You're manually putting that time in and it's just going straight off of your own timer. Does that make sense? I just don't know if the text up the top is the... Is, it, 
passes the uh, the check, I guess, if, if you want to call it that. I don't know if it breaks any of these rules or not. That's the problem that I think I've got here. Uh, adds additional visual or audio indicators of a boss mechanic. It's not really adding that. You're putting that in, right? This is where it comes to, this is where you, you see the gray area. I don't know. I, the, the, the plugin isn't detecting the text. You're telling it to detect the text. So it depends how technical you want to get. But the logic is the same. Like the argument becomes the same as having fucking tile markers to tell you where to stand for certain fucking mechanics in boss fights, right? Would be a gray area if the timer is manually triggered via the text in instead of manually starting the timer? Yes, absolutely. But what's the difference between that and like marking fucking three tiles of where to stand and numbering them when you're doing wardens? Like you're, you're still, you're, you're, you're indicating, you're just putting your own like indicators on the screen and then following that process, right? Problem is the chat box trigger. Well, yes, but <laughs> I agree. I, I personally, I mean, I don't like this sort of shit. So I'm, I'm not exactly supporting it, but the argument to be made is you've got to look at this on both sides. The fact that you're manually putting the text in, does that break this rule? That's completely up to Jagex at this point because it's like, no, technically it's a loophole. You're right, Rebel. Technically it's fine. But is that a step too far? Does, is that where Jagex says, okay, they're going to add a rule there? I don't know. This timer shit is fine, but you can't you can't um, put a timer on when Soat's going to put the ball out because he it's it, it, it's determined by how many magic attacks he throws out, right? If he does more melee attacks, is that he's going to be delaying his his death dot ball, right? The triggering is the problem, not the manual timer. Exactly. Yes. What's the difference? Um, B. I don't know what B W means between um, pressing the on button for a plugin and entering the trigger word. Well, that's the thing. I don't know. Is there a difference between putting the trigger word in? I guess it's stopping you from pressing the on button. I don't know. Like you have Zuck timer indicators that you have to manually tick. Uh, sorry, manually click. And then what after that? You can still fuck up the ticket. Of course you can. Absolutely. Regardless of gender, at the end of the day, if you need this sort of shit to play the game, you're fucking garbage and fuck you. But it, it's technically, in my opinion, it's not actually breaking the rules. I think if you're using this, you like... You have you need help, but I don't know, man. I, I I feel like this isn't really breaking the rules, even though it does look shit and it does look kind of like. I I don't like it. I agree. Learn the boss, learning how to use plugins. People don't give a fuck, man. Message, it triggers on. Um, it I put it to be a large ball of energy shot your way. So. As soon as that pops up, I want to know that the ball is on me. So I, I display the message ball on you, yep. which it's lasts for five entered. seconds. But that's not, that's not all. I then also realized that you can put a delay on it. You can put in multiple notifications per event. So I made another, um, I made another event and I counted the amount of ticks that you need, that needs to pass between sort of take uh, attacks, which is two auto attacks plus five ticks, which is the uh, delay of nine seconds. So after nine seconds, Right, this this message message procs in our chat. We want to wait nine seconds, and that's when I want something to pop up over my head to tell me that I need to tick it. And I went in and it worked flawlessly. And I'd like to show you this. How absolutely massively broken this is. So we need to eat one tick before the ball hits our body. And there's multiple methods to do this. So now I know the ball's on me. Usually mm -hmm. I, I personally look at Soat's attacks. And when he does the second auto attack, that's when you need to click. But look, I don't even need to look at him. I simply click on the ads, and that's a perfect ticket every single time. And <laughs> I don't think that we should have something like this in the game. I've already been uh, thinking about how. I mean, where what's else? the difference between that and just counting nine flashes on this box here above his inventory? What 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 is the difference at the end of the day? I get that there's text above your head. It's just another indicator on top of the one, two, fucking six you've got on the screen, right? At the end of the day, it's not... It, it, you have to manually enter it. The, the only argument that you've got here, right, guys, which I agree with, is that you're not manually clicking go when it comes to the ball coming out, right? But... You could easily just set a timer if you wanted to on an, on your second monitor. Just hit go as soon as you hear it or see it. You could you could easily do that. You could just watch the box here, stand back and watch it. You could absolutely do that. So at what point is it like? Is this really that big of a deal? No, you couldn't. Why couldn't you? You can fuck that up. You could fuck this up too, couldn't you? 
You could not count to nine properly. Would it technically be automatic as soon as it starts the timer for the chat box breaking the rule? It's starting it. That's the, that's, that's the question, right? Because it start, you've manually entered for it to start when this text comes up. That's really the only question. This way is far more brain dead. You don't even need to count. Right, but I mean, you're missing the point. Right, because you're not, did my, my point wasn't that, oh, you could, should always just count this. I just asked what the difference is between counting the box flashing nine times or what for nine seconds. What's that, 15, 10, 10? I don't know. I don't know the math. Counting isn't hard. It's not. That's true. But people have tick timers that just count up one, two, three, four, whatever. Nine seconds, so ball hits 9.6 seconds. I don't know the math. 0.6 seconds per game tick. You work it out. Where the rules are, it's overwhelmingly more about the click to tick heat than an indicator. What 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 do you mean? I don't understand what you mean by that. If people want to be garbage, let them be garbage. It's just a loophole. I don't think it technically breaks the rules. It's the only it, the only thing that I'm questioning is the is it being triggered the timer being triggered by the chat box. But the fact that you're manually entering it like. I don't know if this is possible, but is it possible to have a pro, a third party program reading your client for when a chat box message comes up and then the same thing happens? The fact that the plugin is reading inputs from the game and providing directions should be removed. Yeah, but you're putting the inputs in. Like the farming timer. You like it's the same thing, right? You plant you plant a fucking seed, the timer picks it up and and watches it for you. Hundred percent does, in my opinion. This guy is right. I'm not necessarily disagreeing with him. I just don't think it actually breaks what the rules are stating here. Automatic trigger, so it feels like it shouldn't be allowed. Well, it's a manual. Well, it's it automatically triggers off of your manual input, right? That's the thing. It's it's that it's being triggered based off of what you're saying. So I mean, I don't know. That's why it's a gray area. It's really hard. 16 ticks, there you go. I, I don't think it breaks the rules, technically, no. One manual input, then it works forever. It used to be one for one. It is one for one. One input is one action, yes. Issue is the delayed timer, not that something triggers on game text. I don't think the issue is the delayed timer. Why, why would that be an issue? If the timing is the, if the timing is nine seconds every time from it from so to your character, then you can just start a stopwatch, if you really wanted to. You could have someone standing behind you with their fucking iPhone hitting go, and that nine seconds saying eat. That then it would make no fucking difference, man. Do you think there is a difference in the rules between the so ticket example and the soul example? Um. Is there a difference? Well, they're doing the same thing. They're triggering when text comes up in the chat box. So that's what's happening. Right? Where is it? Back at the start of the video with the paint image of his friend that's really bad at the game. So it, it like text comes up in the chat box, text comes up on his head. The time, it's just instant. They've got the plugin set for it to be instant because there's no delay, right? Um, there's no need for a delay at least. So it has delayed timer, so has no delay. Right. Um, but they're doing the exact same thing, right? This is more, you think soul's more forgivable, so tick is a bit sur um, sausage. You reckon? I mean, the, the difference here is that you just ch you're changing the time of which text comes up above your head. But, well, no, let me, let me do it better for you. The timing of this, where it says gloves, is the exact same timing as when it says um, ball on you. Right, as soon as the text pops up, you get ball on you over here. Where does he do it? He fucking he runs up and fights him somewhere. Over my head to tell me that I need to ticky right here before right? the ball hits our buddy. And as soon as it comes there's up, multiple... instant, right? That's the same same logic there as soap. As soul, sorry. Just as soon as it as soon as the text comes up, it says ball on you. Who really cares? This shit is so anal rentative. Some people wanted me to look at it, so I figured why not. 
not saying it might not be against the rules as it stands, but now Jarek's can change the rules to account for this. Possibly, yeah. But then I don't know. Does that uh, does that affect uh, the the way other mechanics, uh, other plugins work? I don't know, man. It'd be identical for the example of gloves changed to now or something for tick perfect armor, uh, off um for damage bonus. Yeah, pretty much. It's not telling you exactly when to tick it. Does it really matter? It is telling him exactly when to tick it, but he's manually entering when to ma when to tick it. Issue isn't the delay. The issue is the plugin reading the chat box and taking the data and automatically triggering. Right. But it's only taking the data you, that you're inputting. It's not going... Like, like you're, you're, the, the, this is the gray area. It's taking data you're telling it to take, right? It's like when you start the Hunlift run and you go... And, and you click start and then it starts counting... When, when to change prayers or whatever the fuck it did. Was it change weapon or change prayer? One of the two. Can't remember. I never used it. Found all plugins except quest helper skill issue. Yeah, it's a good thing you're not in charge then, hey. Does it pop up the exact moment you have to tick it? Yes, it does. The ads pop up the exact moment you have to tick it. You physically start the hunt of timer? Yes, you do. This one, you just you, you physically put the text in and then it triggers off of the text. So, I don't know. It's just not the plugin in the chat box though because it essentially just moves text from the chat box to an overhead. Then what's the issue? That's the issue people are having. Probably even set it up to players a countdown to the ticket. You could. Issue is the ability to delay the text, in my opinion. So you you think that the issue is the second lot of text where where he does the ads. You reckon that's that's the problem. Because that's the exact same as the first text. They're both the same. One's just delayed and one is instant. They're just different on different timings. They're both doing the exact same job. But you're manually setting this. But the, you're manually setting the second timer to be nine seconds after it says ball on you. It can be used to perfectly time tick eats and perfectly in perfect parries. The perfect parries is what the first over where it says ball on you. That's what perfect parries are doing. Right? I, I, I mean, I, as much as, like, yes, I agree that it, it looks like shit, and it's like, it's really just a, like, some people think the time is the issue, some people it's not the issue. I, I think, I think at the end of the day, I don't know if they necessarily break the rules. The, I think the question is the text chat thing. No different than having a metronome or clock or something else. Well, exactly, right? There's no, it's no different. The timer delay for the chat box and watching this fucking black and white square flash, there's no difference, man. You can put a delay on it to perfectly time it. So, what's the difference between that and having someone stand behind you with a stopwatch on their phone, starting the timer, and then saying go when it's time to eat? There's there's no difference. The difference is one's on your client that you're manually setting, and one's some dickhead behind you that's manually pressing. There is no difference. That's why they allow things like the Quest Helper. The difference is it's on your fucking browser or it's on your client. There's no difference. It's not playing the game for you. You're telling it which quest, and then you're you're then doing the action, and then the the plugin's automatically updating. It's the exact same logic. You're just transferring all the information to one client so that it's all on one screen for you. You manually set it up one time to do the content hundreds of times. That's the exact same thing as the Hunlift plugin that was completely allowed and acceptable with Perp fucking telling you to change prayer. You had to manually click every time. You didn't have to with the Hunlift plugin either. You just had to hit start, and then it went, and then it timed perfectly. You're just wrong. How is that? How is that wrong? It's the exact fucking same thing. What do you mean? How is that wrong? What's the difference with the time? We're talking about the timing here, not how the not how the plugin starts. Born is talking specifically about how it is on a delayed timer. The the Hunleth plugin was on a timer, and every single time at the exact same time, which was four attack cycles, it would tell you to switch prayer for the entire fight for three minutes fucking straight. Five, however long the fucking fight took. The plugin would read out every four attacks, it would change. Per plugin could go out of whack if you got it stomped. Right. And then you just click the button, and then guess what? It's back on the same timer counting. It's the exact same system. You'd have to manually reset. Right, but it's still a manual timer that is counting the exact it's four game attacks. Right? You're manually resetting. Only if you get stomped. Otherwise, it is doing the exact same thing. For hundreds of kills. If you never get stomped, then, the, 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 like, then there's it's the exact same as this, right? Do 
Do, do you not understand? Because there's, so your logic is because it's possible to get stomped, it's, it's okay. The auto trigger is a problem. That's what I think. The auto trigger is a bigger problem than the timing. I think the time delay is just, is, is whatever. I think the timing delay is no different. You know that when people have that plug-in, where is it? Um, what's the plug-in? Is, is it the metronome? Met, metro, is it this plug-in here? Oh god no. Where's the one with the visual one? Where they count where the, the, the ticks count up on the screen. One, two, three, four, and it just counts up on their screen. Visual. Is it called visual? I don't have it. Do I have to download it? Yeah? Visual. Visual ticks, is that it? You click start, you click stomp, the auto triggers trigger is broken. The auto trigger resets. What the fuck is this? Next on my chat box, what is that? Is that right? What did I just download? Visual ticks. Number of ticks. Okay, so what now? Like I just count to nine, all right? If I have um, amount per row, nine, okay? And soap ball comes out. Soap ball comes out right now. I know when to tick it. Guess when I tick it? I can tell you. I can tell you for free. Right now. Done. Why just smell a wee in here? Right? Soap ball comes out right now. Okay? I can tell you when to tick it. I tick it right now. What's the difference? What is the difference? You have to pay attention to that though, to track it. Right. That is the only difference. The fact that there's text above your head, you still got to pay attention to that text above your head at the end of the day, I guess. But my logic, what I'm trying to tell you here is that when you're setting a manual timer, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You can have all sorts of shit on your screen. It's all the same. You have to pay attention to the text above your head. Oh, fucking, you're just fucking splitting hairs. There's no way you genuinely think, but you've got to pay attention. If you got rid of 80% of the plugins on your screen, you'd be able to pay attention to what the fuck you're fighting. And then, when the ball is entering your head, that's when you tick it. Like, it's that simple. If you just learn to tick it so properly. Like, we're just splitting hairs now for, for the sake of it. Still have to be aware of which tick you were on when the ball came out, to be fair. Right, so the logic, the, the correct answer is to just learn to tick each soap properly at the end of the fucking day. According to the rules, there's no difference. It, it, according to these rules, this plugin is not breaking any rules in my opinion. This makes it easier? Fine. But I don't think it's actually breaking any rules. Does it look like shit? Yes. Does it make you shit? Yes. Is this guy shit? Yes. But I don't think that this is actually breaking the rules. I'm not saying it doesn't make it easy. I never said that at all. If it's reading a game event to start a timer, it's breaking TOS. It's reading a game event that you've manually told it to read. That's the question. That is the only like problem that we're looking at here. We have told it to read that game event. That is the only gray area that I think is questionable. Not the timer. This timer shit is 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 fine. A card turned off. Yes. Shut up. Don't you dare fucking play a card or you banned. All right. You wait. I think um, that there are two different plugins with different intentions. Having a timer in Watchdog causes this overlap and confusion. Uh, it should be quality of life for playing with your chat box closed and not setting timers. Yes, absolutely. Plugins are for nerds. Run like basic is enough. Fair enough. Reading ticks on the game should be banned while using your best guess to set a timer manually shouldn't be. Yeah, but reading... but. <laughs> How can you ban someone from reading because their client's reading ticks? You could just have a second party, a third party client reading your, your ticks, right? Like, what's the difference between having the Zuck timer? So, you know, when you're fighting Zuck in the Inferno and you, you have a timer on your client where if you press a button on your keyboard, it starts the timer so you know when the next set's spawning. What's the difference between that and either doing it yourself or having someone else click on that website, the Zuck timer website? What's the difference between having the Zuck timer in the, in the Runelite client and you just press a key or you just doing this? Zuck has less ads, true, but like you're either doing it on the client or you're doing it third party anyway with, with timers. Like 
The difference is it's either on or off the client. But at the end of the day, neither of them are breaking the rules. So just have it on the client. It's easier to fucking control, right? It's easier for you to use. It's a quality of life for the user. Difference comes on predictable things being timed versus things that are random being called out. That's the game. You're doing it manually, not a script. You're manually triggering it, exactly. The question is, as we've said, which is what I've been saying the entire time, is is the chat is the, the chat text box trigger, is that bannable? Jagex can't do nothing about the browser timer. Jagex won't do anything about it being on the client either. That's why you have a Zuck timer on the client that people use and have been allowed to use. That's why timers like this are totally acceptable. It's this bit at the top that is the gray area. Right? The thing with the Leviathan that no monkey was talking about when people were talking about the client bands and everything, that was different because the plugin was literally reading the sound from the boss and telling you what to pray. You weren't putting in this sound equals this noise, this color. It was just straight up, that's this sound, that's that sound, and it was just actually fucking physically reading it. This, you're manually putting it in. It's a dumb argument. That's literally the argument, though. It, I know it's a dumb argument. That, that is the fucking difference. That's the difference that it was fucking six months ago when we had the no monkey situation, and it's the same difference now. That's it. That, that is literally the, the fucking difference. Whether the client is reading it or whether you are telling the client to read it. That's literally it. He manually colored the sound cues. Right, but the sound cues were being read by the plugin. I know he ran, manually colored the sound cues. It doesn't make a fucking difference. He, you're manually putting whatever text you want in. You had to manually enter the par parameters for what the add-on would display for a detected game sound. Life an add-on is suddenly kosher. I don't know what that means. What does kosher mean? Isn't that like a cheese? Could the iPhone plugin come back, but I have the first step, the first setup, but I have to first start the setup. I don't know, I didn't use it. Apparently it was for disabled people, but, you know, fuck the disabled. But the argument then this client is a problem? Probably. I don't fucking know, man. I, I don't know. I don't think it's a tier, tier S violation. One is reading text, one is reading an auto, audio ID, both are manually entered by the user. I don't know if the audio ID was manual, or maybe it was manually entered. You might actually be right on that. Manually and from game directly are completely different. One doesn't account for lag. Um, I don't know, I have, to go, I have to go and have a look at how, how it would read the audio, I don't know. Any Jews uh, here from who can explain kosher? I think I think Shangas is in bed. Same thing. Only difference is text versus audio. Um, you might be right. I don't know. Has to be manually entered, or the plugin would either do nothing or notify on every audio ID. Yeah, I don't know. I have to go check the plugin. It might it might be the case. Yeah, that may that may be the case then. Possibly. Yeah. Seems like the same thing to me. It reads a chat and reads a sound. Mm. Having something automatically sync up with the game should be banned. I don't, yeah, well, like the quest helper? It would instantly solve Zuck and Colin for everyone? What, what do you mean? How? The difference between Leviathan and this is that the player can see the chat notification too. We could distinguish... Leviathan sounds. I mean, you, uh, yeah, you could argue that. No monkey manually input audio IDs in the plugin to read the audio cue and display it in blue, green, red text. Right. This is more or less just moving the chat box to above your head rather than moving the sound that the boss is making to your head. So I don't know. Like, this is automating something that's requiring your attention to the mechanic. Maybe. Read my previous comment. I can't see it. Hold on. Have you seen them script that auto souls Inferno and Colosseum? It was a third part of video. Um, if we say this is allowed, it could be the same visual. It, it could use the same visual and not just the script to react. Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen that video yet. I'm not sure. You could use this to have all of Olm's orb attacks automatically make you type mage range melee to pray properly, right?
I don't know. You mean like the ones that turn off your prayer? I mean, I guess so, but you can tell because the colors are fucking different when they're coming at you. The That's the minor difference. One is human readable, one is not. Maybe that, that might be where Jagex draws the line. One's humanly readable, one isn't. Like you see the red, I know when I see the red text in the box, in the chat box that there's a ball coming my way. That's already the indicator for me. Maybe maybe the intensity of Levi Leviathan might be where Jagex draws the line. Who knows? They might ban this. I don't know. The plugin is just taking the steps for us. Um, I see it as a quality of life thing. I do, it doesn't need to be removed, in my opinion. I don't think the bottom part is a problem. The top part, bit of a gray area. Comparable to the No Monkey situation, honestly, uh, you guys might be right with, with the with the way it lined up the audio cues. Um, adds audio adds additional video or audio indicators of a boss mechanic except in cases where it is a manually triggered external helper indicates the time where a boss mechanic may start or end indicates the pro where the projectiles will land indicates what prayers to use in what order for example in the Cerberus boss fight automatically inform you where or where not to stand in a boss fight this applies to only automatic indicators and not tiles which have been manually marked. I feel like they've updated this very recently because that wasn't there during the no monkey argument. Otherwise, it wouldn't have made that fucking video. Indicates how long an opponent is frozen for. Yeah, helps you know when to flinch your opponent. It just moves the chat box above your head. No, it means you don't need to uh, the chat open or looking at the chat to know the mechanic is happening. Yeah, um, I mean, I don't play with the sound on uh, the sound effects on, so I don't hear the ball coming out of him either. Um, so I just used the chat box. They took action against the audio thing. They should take action against this one for consistency. Um, possibly. But I think the... I think the fact that there is a clear visual indicator already and you're just moving that indicator above your head might be an argument against the Leviathan thing because no one was going off a of fucking audio cues for Leviathan. Let's be honest. But, like, the visual indicator is already there in the game. It's already on in the chat box. Does that make a difference? I don't know. I mean, you could debate this for fucking ever. Has a visual cue too. Leviathan, green or blue? Exactly. So I, I don't know. It depends how, how, you, how you want to look at it at the end of the day. And I guess it's up to Jagex. But this timing shit down the bottom is totally fine, in my opinion. I think, I think this is setting times. That, that's not a problem at all. Ban it, fuck them. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't really care if they do or don't. Show audio cue again, please. No. Hunt of Timer could be changed to the same thing. Yep, add chat box text for Zuck, set spawns, or Hunt of Style changes, and then they're all replaced by Watchdog. Yeah, pretty much. Absolutely. Would you try as a demonstration? No. Don't care enough. You can do Leviathan practically blindfolded if you use the audio cues, right? Uh, w w the way No Monkey was doing it? Yes, you could. Yeah. If you manually trigger the counter, that's fine. Auto trigger off chat box, ban. Yo, that's the thing, is it? That's, that's, that's where we figure if that's worth drawing the line or not. Either way, the guy should be banned for not using mole slippers. No, nah, he's a loser anyway. So yeah, I don't know. I think discussing it makes you think about it more. Um, I, I stand by the fact that the time situation is, is totally fine and is just like the way plugins are. I, 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 and I was saying it from day one, like even in the Discord from earlier, I think the question is whether this is considered acceptable with the soap ball. Uh, as soon as that text pops up in the chat box, the warning comes up. That's really where we want to debate it, I guess. Many issues we need the chat box open to PVM. Um, well, no, you don't with Sol in the Colosseum. I mean, you don't technically in this. I in it, Not really, no. I don't think so. I only have the chat box open when I PVM because otherwise it looks like weird with me, like with this big gap under me while I'm streaming. Let's just zoom down to the moon, yeah? No, you don't. It's not that big of a fucking zoom, for sure. Like... It, it, it's not that big of a zoom that you need to be zoomed out for. Honestly, like, I, I don't think it's that bad. I don't play in fixed mode anyway because I, I think it's fucking horse shit. But I think... Um, no, I, I think if you need to zoom out to read the text, then shit. Like, it's, it's not that big of a fucking zoom. 
Only have a chat box on doing something like Money Room with people not on Discord. Fair enough. Yeah, you mean Monkey Room? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair. Still not great, to be fair. Even Mod Sani admitted to it and said they might do an audio queue. That's fair, if they can. Makes sense. Most things have an audio queue in this game, for sure. Yeah, I don't know. I think... Uh, I think this... The shit like this, I, I think the the Theatre of Blood um, quality of life plugins more cancerous than this anyway, in, in my opinion. I tried a bit too hard to cook you in the comments, but he is right. I didn't read his comment because he's retarded, but I think what he misunderstood by me is that I don't disagree with this plugin being bad for the game or its integrity. Um... He just assumed that I was against him. I think this guy's got brain damage, absolutely, but that's just because he's a moron. Um, I just don't know like, if it's actually against the rules. I really don't at the end of the day. This, this trigger at the top is the only question that you could probably consider, but this whole notification with the, uh, the delays and the timers is... That's... Uh, I think that's totally fine. Anything in OSS that you feel the need to audio for? Um, no, I like having audio for, um, Hunliff when I hear the, the ball that's, um, turning your prayer off. That's about it. Cause I just won't be paying attention and it will hit me. It's funny watching players shit their pants about it. If they want to prevent this, then take the chat indicators out. To be honest, like who cares if people use it at the end of the day? Like if you're using this sort of plugin, then you're just shit at the game. He took your Zuckham comment a bit hard. Yeah, well, most people with Zuckhelms have fragile egos. That's what's so good about them. As long as you're the one fucking up the ticket and not the plug-in doing it, uh, it's for you, it's fine. Well, that's it. You can still fuck the tech heat up with this plug-in. Absolutely, you can. When you go into Port Sarum, can you turn music on? No. What is good for Muspa? I haven't actually... I don't remember what it's like, actually, in Muspa. So it's kind of different, difficult about audio. His spear attacks are very similar to his special attack spears. Right, okay. Too bad uh, not many bosses use audio chat box. Oh, sorry, uses chat box. Yeah, well, you've only got really so, um, Ohm, Sol, uh, Verzik, um, I mean, technically, Zarpus even. If you have a Zarkham, you'll definitely take this game too seriously. Um, I think more or less you can do, yeah. I don't know. I think Zarkham's been out long enough now that it doesn't really matter anymore. And that's not really that special either. Um, yeah, anyways, that's what I wanted to kind of bring up. I guess Rebel wanted me to bring up too. I don't know. I feel like that at the end of the day, just to wrap it up, the question is whether putting this text in the chat box is against the rules. If I read this, I don't know if it really does. I mean, the, it's it's this here. Adds visual or audio indicators of a boss mechanic. Like, it's is it adding the indicator? The indicator is already there. So, yes, I guess it's an additional indicator. You could argue that. Absolutely. Um, but the time, when it's telling you to eat, the, the indicator to tell you when to eat, no. Like, all you could literally do then is get rid of this ball on you. If you deleted that text, so no text came above your head when the ball came out, then you probably are fine, really. I don't know. I'm not sure. It's hard to say. We'll have to um, see what Jagex does about it. I don't know if they'll do much. I don't know if they'll care. The plugin's been out for that long and has that much fucking versatility with it. It'll be interesting to see where it goes. If they're getting uh, for additional visuals, then yes. I'm just let me think about that for a second. Is it manually triggered if you input it one time into a plugin? What do you mean? What do I mean by manually triggered? I don't know. Um, let me just think about this for a second. Um, I mean, the guy uses Zora plugins, fucking loser. Um, they said it's okay if it's manually triggered. Yes. Where did I put it? Uh, 
Um, except in cases where it's manually triggered uh, external helper. So that just means anything that's not rune light, right? That's what it means. Um, this is still not an exhaustive list, but it should be a clear indicator, a clear idea of what's not acceptable. Indicates the time where a boss mechanic may start or end. I mean, if you got rid of the indicator, then it won't matter, but still, I guess end. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. Yeah, you probably could argue that. I don't know, it's very, it's very difficult to say, because if you're, you're setting it manually, I don't fucking know, man. I don't know. You're still telling it, like, it's not picking it up and going, oh, that started now. But it kind of is at the same time. Grey area, basically. Yeah, well, that's it. It's a fucking grey area. It's not manually triggered, it's triggered by the text chat. Just like Leviathan was triggered by sound. Yes. But if what if you got rid of ball on you? It's not adding an indicator that the ball's coming, but then you get rid of the ats because the ats are going to trigger, indicate when to tick eat, so I don't know. I don't use it, but I could give two fucks what other people use the game is infested with bots anyway. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I don't know. No difference really between reading the chat and reading your overhead. There isn't. Absolutely no difference. It's just it's it's transferring the message from the chat box to above your head. Like it's not that big of a fucking deal, is it? Especially if you're playing with the chat box closed. So it's like Is it really adding an indicator? Looks like folks are gonna use the plugin. I don't think so. I don't think many people use the plugin. Like tick eating soap isn't that big of a fucking deal at the end of the day. I think people just need to grow up and like fucking play on a client that you can see more shit on. Like clicking isn't that fucking difficult. Indicator is already there as well. That's exactly it. It's already you can already see. It's already visually indicated to you. So you're you're just you're bringing that indicator to your attention, right? You're moving it. Like like what if you just fucking where's my client? What if I just move the chat box here? So I can see it better, and I'll wait for the red text, like, I don't know. You can get as petty as you want with this argument at the end of the day. It's gone to Tob two weeks ago, been having so much fun. I sold my shadow for a scythe. Very nice, dude. Scythe's fucking great, and Tob. Best of luck with it, man. I can't get a fucking purple to save my life. People find play ways to abuse it until it'll get banned. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Fixing bad game design by Jagex. Jagex just needs to change it to do it as well... Do this as well natively. Well, it's not bad game design. Like, this isn't bad game design. This is just people being shit. It's like I said earlier. I think I'm pretty confident that the majority of RuneScape players that need to use plugins like this only play RuneScape. They have almost no experience in any other, like, game. Specifically things like MOBAs where there is a lot of split-second click-intensive reactions and you need to kind of be accurate with what you're doing while you're moving on the screen. A lot's going on, even like first-person shooters. People are just fucking, they only play RuneScapes, so they just have the fucking, this tunnel vision way of playing the game, and they just don't really have the skill set, or the time, which is fine, to be able to learn these mechanics, so they use these plugins to help them through, you know? Is he saying this needs to go? I think he wants this gone, yes. He says this should not be in the game. After he got his helmet, of course. But is this, does this mean that you shouldn't be allowed to have chat messages moved around on the screen indi for indicators for you? Like if, you're, if, you're, if you were just skilling, for example, if you say you were thieving and you had your chat box shut, but you wanted it to um, flash your screen red, for example, when your dodgy necklace is about to run out or when it does run out, is that a visual indicator that should be banned because it's visually changing? I know it's not PVM, so, you know, fuck you, but... Should that matter? If you if you swing your scythe and it's got 100 charges left and it comes up in the chat box, should it be bad if it tells you above your head too? Dunno. Or does that break the rules too? Can you tell me why people use the saturated heart with Void Waker? They're idiots. Boss mechanic shouldn't be allowed. Yep, that should be the line. I think that is the line, really. Um, oops. 
keep losing the fucking link. It is mostly just for PVM mechanics or PvP. Like, it's not really for anything else. Any unhiding of interface components such as the special tap bar or and including the minimap, for example, in barrows, um, these are prohibited. Any movement or resizing of click zones for 3D components. This is all resizing shit. That's nothing really that's a problem. In addition, any new menu entries which cause action to be sent to the server. Menu options change changes for specifically construction, blackjack and, and attack slash or sorry brackets or similar options in PvP. Okay. Yeah. It's contextual, which is why I think JX needs to take control and allow it where they think it's appropriate. Well that's the thing, they'll just leave it. If they think it's appropriate, they just won't fucking touch it and move on. So don't know, man. It's uh it's a little bit of a little bit of a gray area. I think regardless we can all agree that it is it makes the fight easier. Yes, that's no no fucking doubt, but so do like eighty percent of the plugins that this guy's fucking using. Um I think it I think it's uh I think if you use it you're garbage regardless. Issue with this plugin is it reads chat, so how would you police people using it for skilling but not PVM? You just ban everyone, dude. Can't be done without banning it entirely. Um, I don't know if it's possible to make plugins not work inside of raids and shit. I don't know if that's possible, but that's it, you know. I don't know. I feel like the, the chat box indicator is that you know, this this list at the end of the day is not the full list. It's an exhaustive, not exhaustive? It's not exhaustive. Should give a clear image or idea of what is not acceptable. So, I don't know. So few people would use the use it this way. If it didn't just gain popularity by making a big controversial video, true, yeah. Um, it would be used just by garbage players. Now it's going to be used by Brazilians, garbage players. Spaghetti code prob won't uh, allow excluding certain things. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I think it's... Um, if you play with your chat box open, the time has started. If you want to tick each soap, you, you eat at the exact same game tick that the ball is entering your head. That's all you do. Just pray mage, watch your guy. As the ball is entering, your guy needs to be eating at the same time, and you've tick eight so Tob, done easy. No more timers for pots as well then, or boss respawn timers in God Wars, because you manually click the pot and that automatically puts the timer on your screen. I don't know. Does that count? You didn't click anywhere else. Well, I mean, you click the potion, I guess, to start the timer. Does that count? Yeah, I guess it does. Eat when he bobs his head for the melee. Done. You could do that too. Yep. One input, multiple outputs. That's not how that works. That's not the question with plugins. That's fine. No manual input for respawn timers, to be fair. There is no manual input for respawn timers. Very true. There is not. That is... I mean, the manual input is you killing the fucking boss, I guess. I don't know. The client's reading it. I, I don't fucking know, man. It's a, it's, it's, it's a back and forth. Respawn timers don't impact mechanics of a fight. Uh, no, they don't. That's true. Well, they impact the start of the fight. They, they, they impact when the boss fucking pops up. You kind of need to know for Bandos, for example. Dagonoff Kings, true. Yeah. You want to make sure you know when Dagonoff Kings. Why would you need a boss timer when the vanilla client can tell you the item timer instead? Uh, shut up. Yeah, it, it's, it's handy to know when certain bosses are respawning so you don't get absolutely fucking donkey punched for a 56. Boss times don't include a skill aspect. This does. Well, I mean, yes and no. If you're doing 6 no bandos, you kind of want to be like in the right position before bandos fucking pops up. If that if the mage Dagonoff, what's his name, Dagonoff Prime, if he spawns and you're not ready for it, you're going to get fucking hit for 50. You know, there, there's some there's some level of I need to know when this cunt's spawning, but is it the same? I don't know. I mean, like, it, it's, it's, the time is triggered by you killing the fucking boss, right? We're just kind of going around in circles now. Killing the boss and then the chat box popping up is kind of, they're, they're two different things, but 
are they on the same line? I don't know. Like, how fucking far do we need to stretch this before we just accept the fact that if you use this plugin, you're garbage? It doesn't involve go Gauntlet plugin, right? The Gauntlet plugin, you manually click start. And then if you don't do anything wrong, you will never have to touch it again. It will just count and tell it'll walk you through the fucking kill of when to change your prayer. All the way. If you don't know when Prime spawns, it'll get you killed faster than missing a Soul Glove takeoff? Probably. Dunno. It's interesting. It's, uh... It's been a fun discussion. The vanilla client can literally tell you when. Yes, it probably can. Yes, I think I think this the even the mobile client does that. You're right. Comparing a boss fight boss mechanic meet fight to a respawn timer, they're still indicators. They're still visual indicators at the end of the day. They're still being triggered by one or another. Autos are not allowed, no. Manual indicators are fine to use, but auto indicators, if an indicator if something's just indicating something that you haven't told it to indicate, then it's gonna pop, right? You drink a potion, a timer starts. You kill a boss, a timer starts. The soap ball comes out, a timer starts. But you're you've basically said, yes, do this. I don't know. I wouldn't use it. Vanilla client is already applied on mobile, yes. Well, vanilla client isn't. It's the Steam client you guys are referring to. When you say vanilla client, you mean the C++ client, right? The advanced client, the enhanced client, sorry. Just reading all these here. This is all PvP shit. Reveals the maze layout in the Soda's Egg boss fight in Theater of Blood. Nah, guys, that's it. Nail in the coffin. If it's got nothing to do with the maze and so, then it doesn't fucking matter, man. They specified that boss there. We're low detail and high detail modes in 2004. Doesn't happen. Doesn't matter. Any features which act similarly to those described in the above list can also be considered unacceptable. And as we become aware of features, we reserve the right to add features to the list in the future. And it says considered unacceptable. So, I mean, it doesn't mean it absolutely is unacceptable, but you can consider it unacceptable. But... I think if you use it, you're just an unacceptable person. Get good shit, kid. I think that's the best way to uh, wrap up that conversation. Please. The worst part about this now is I've got to do a fucking tier list. Interesting, they specifically mentioned that maze. I guess it, you said it's not an exhaustive though. No, it's not exactly. This is the easiest room in the raid. It's quite simple. You got a big boy. Look at him, goddamn. Fuck, mate, look at that boy. It's huge. Oh, my God.